Second Assault is finally here. Hey YouTube, look what I get to spawn Holy into. Crap. Death, death, and more death on the Metro. They're I'm Kung Fu Grip, and today I'm going to be featuring gameplay from all four maps in the Second Assault DLC and sharing my first impressions. As you can see, we're going to be starting with Metro. All that I can say is, Metro is exactly what I expected. Even though they've given us some new routes to the flags, it's still a great big huge cluster. Visually, it's been really upgraded. The colors for me are much more rich, and it makes it a lot easier to differentiate an enemy from the surroundings. Generally, I try to stay away from large clumps of allies, but on this map, with so few choke points, there's not really a whole lot that you can do. On the bright side, though, I was able to unlock my F2000, and I can report it's pretty good. It's hard to tell from the limited gameplay, but my first impression puts it somewhere between the L85 and the FAMAS. I don't think that you're going to be wanting to engage in any enemies at, at, at long range with this, but I can tell you it's just going to shred them up close. Anyway, on the Metro, I ended up doing a lot more dying than killing, so let's move on to uh, the next map. Uh, next map we're going to be featuring is Operation Firestorm. On Operation Firestorm, I was able to get some jet gameplay, but just as the round got going, the server switched to Siege of Shanghai, and to be honest, I really can't tell you why it did that. Uh, I was able to find another server, though, and I decided I'd try some tanking. You know, the thing that stood out to me uh, most about this map is that the scale of things just kind of seems different. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the field of view, the different versions of Frostbite, but to me it seems like the distance between features of the map and the relative size of objects just isn't the same. When you look at the corner of that building and you look at the distance from it over the pipeline, uh, relative to Battlefield 3, and I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing, uh, but I can tell you, you know, it just looks a little bit different to me. Um, you know, Operation Firestorm, you know, with the fires and stuff that's going on, uh, it looks really cool. Um, you know, I look forward to uh, getting to play it some more, and uh, uh, you know, just just trying to figure out, you know, what are the specific specifics of that. Uh, so now then, uh, this kind of brings us to Caspian Border. Caspian Border of the four maps. This really is kind of the most visually appealing to me. I think that the textures that they've added with uh, the grass, some of the stuff like that, uh, it just looks absolutely beautiful. But you know, just like on Operation Firestorm. The, there's a difference of scale. You know, it just doesn't seem to be uh, much the same. Uh, this server that I was on here, you know, all the servers that I found for this, they all had between 16 and 24 players. I do look forward to playing this on a little bit more populated server, just seeing what that game experience ends up being. So last but not least, that brings us to uh, a, a map that for me was a favorite on Battlefield 2 as well as Battlefield 3, and that's Gulf of Oman. Um, you know, again, this kind of has that, that, that scale difference that I'm perceiving. And again, I don't know if it's just one of those deals for me. I do think I may play some Battlefield 3 uh, later today or maybe later in the week to just kind of go, okay, is, am I just crazy about this? Um, but, and, you know, it, 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 it looked really, really good to me. I did come in just as the sandstorm was kind of taken off. Um, you know, I, I would like to see, you know, kind of what this map looks like, you know, when you're looking out across uh, when the sandstorm's not in effect and just kind of see visually, you know, what, what, what are some of the differences uh, relative to the way that it was in Battlefield 3. Uh, with the new Frostbite engine, I think that there's, uh, you know, kind of unlimited potential here. Uh, you know, I think that some of the things that they've done, particularly like with the elevator into this hotel, uh, it's pretty interesting. This guy's going to run out. He's immediately going to die to some dudes that are just camping right there. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering what you guys are seeing. I know that there was a lot of camping that went on in Battlefield 3. Battlefield 4, though, it just seems rampant. It seems like everybody does it. They're just waiting around a corner, uh, sitting there with their LMG or their shotgun, waiting to take advantage of the person who walks around the corner. Anyway, though, I, I'm real excited about Second Assault being out, and I'm going to be playing the crap out of it for the rest of the week. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. Leave me some comments below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you want to see some more videos like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm producing content uh, just about every day, and uh, I really enjoy uh, getting to see the feedback from people on this. So uh, uh, I'll see you on the battlefield. This is Kung Fu. I'm out.